In order to use the Hypothesis Annotator, you must first create an account on their website, or log into your pre-existing account. Then you'll have to install the Google Chrome extension, or drag the bookmarklet into your bookmarks bar. Clicking on it will enable you to load the annotator on any web page, as long as your browser is compatible. Some web pages and links will also run Hypothesis automatically, so that you would not necessarily need the extension or bookmarklet, as I'll show in a bit. Looking at my account page on Hypothesis, I see the feed of my most recent activity. I can also see the feed for any private groups I've joined, create a new group, or copy an invitation link to send to people I would like to join. I can also adjust various settings here, such as whether I want to be emailed when somebody responds to my posts. You'll see that clicking on your private account or group will automatically create a username or group filter. You can also search the entire public hypothesis archive for specific tags and URL addresses. For instance, if I wanted to see all of the annotations that have been made to Vannevar Bush's classic As We May Think essay on the Atlantic website where it is publicly available. Loading the hypothesis extension on this page will highlight all of the specific selections that have been quoted by other users. Clicking on them will open the corresponding comment in the sidebar, where I can also expand to see all of the other comments listed in the order in which they appear in the document. Scrolling through this sidebar list, I can easily click on the quotation text, which will scroll the page to the corresponding highlight in context. I can show or hide the highlights on the page, or create a note for this page in its entirety, rather than a particular quotation within it. I can also sort the sidebar list according to the time the comment was posted, by changing the sort settings using the icon in the upper right. Here you see I only have the option to sort by newest and oldest because I'm on the page notes tab, where there is no actual note location. The share button creates a link to this page that will automatically load Hypothesis even for users who do not currently have an account. This can be especially useful for showing annotations to interested parties who might be hesitant to sign up immediately though it's worth noting they will only be able to see public content without logging in. Here you can see all three sorting options, as well as the search bar for all comment text. Each annotation expands into threaded discussion wherever replies are present. Any replies posted will automatically notify the original annotator by email, at least by default. All text fields provide the option to create bold and italic text, insert images, quotations, and hyperlinks, generate numbered and bulleted lists, and even mathematical equations from LaTeX. You can switch between public and private groups using the top sidebar menu, and return to the Hypothesis account page by clicking on the icon in the upper right, or any instance of your group name in the sidebar. All of these features allow for fluid navigation of collective discussions and texts. From the main page of my account, I can easily see a preview of all the annotations from my class, and open any of these in context. Clicking the link will automatically scroll to the quoted text, even in PDF documents. As long as it's hosted on a Hypothesis-friendly URL, I have the option to search and navigate the PDF and its annotations natively within the browser. As long as the PDF has a layer of selectable text, annotation works more or less the same as with a web page. I can highlight and annotate a passage, or just highlight it, for my personal reference. Here you can see how the quoted text has been marked private with the lock icon. I can always convert these highlights into public or group posts, but I will first have to add some form of annotation, either in the text field or in the tag field beneath it, using commas to separate out each tag. I can keep these changes personal or post them to the class group I'm currently working in. If I wanted to post it elsewhere, I would have to select a public forum or another group from the drop-down menu, and then recreate the annotation by reselecting the quote and copy and pasting the comment. It's a good habit to always check the drop-down menu before you begin, to make sure your annotations will not need to be manually copied if you happen to be in the wrong group. The ability to hyperlink to other documents, like this Vannevar Bush text, within annotations, like the one from the Heidegger essay here, is by far one of the most powerful features available in Hypothesis, or any other web annotator for that matter. While you could always just paste the link into the text field of any annotation, this is probably the least appealing option especially when you can easily embed this link, or any number of links, into the comment text itself. But if I just want to make a general reference between these two essays, I'd be better off creating a page note so I don't clutter the actual text with a highlight that isn't really context-specific. But rather than using the standard website URL, I might as well generate a hypothesis link to the website that will load the annotator automatically. Then I'll highlight the comment text I would like to hyperlink, click on the link icon, and paste the hypothesis link into the selected highlight field, 
Once I post, I'll get a formatted link that will automatically load the Bush essay with all of its annotations, which again is good for showing public annotations to friends and colleagues who haven't yet created an account. More powerful still is the ability to link to specific annotations within and between documents. Say I thought that an annotation one student posted for homework on this Heidegger essay would be particularly helpful for another student who might have overlooked the importance of the quotation. I could just click the share link for this specific annotation, copy it, and then either email this link to the other student or embed it as a hypertext within a reply to one of their annotations, one that I thought was relevant to the annotation I'm copying it into. This will not only send an email to the student to whom I'm replying, it will also leave a record of this conversation within the text that is available to our entire group, killing two birds with one stone, so to speak, or several. A few features that might be nice to have in the future would be the ability to detect whether the hyperlinked annotation text existed within the same document, so that it could simply scroll to it within the same window rather than opening it in a new one. I also don't see why clicking on highlights or clicking on links to highlights needs to collapse all the surrounding annotations by default. This just makes it easier for annotators to lose their place, I think. It would also be great to have the option to automatically create reciprocal links in this same manner, so that the comment I hyperlinked to would automatically generate a linked from, shared with, or shared by kind of link for the annotation being shared. This would enable users to navigate back and forth between source and destination annotations within and between documents more easily. This would probably entail some new form of metadata and notification system that could grow very complex rather quickly. But it might start out as an option to notify the author of the annotation via email if the link to one of his or her annotations appears in the text of another annotation. This notification system could also extend to all of the various subthreads of a discussion, so that the author of the original annotation could be notified not just of replies, but any additional replies to replies nested under the original post. The user, or group, who originally creates or uploads a document might also want to be able to subscribe to any comments or replies posted to that document. Being able to assign the same post to public and private groups simultaneously, without having to create separate instances of the same post in multiple forums, would also enhance the overall connectivity of annotations, and potentially increase the circulation of these annotations if public users had the ability to see that certain annotations were cross-listed with a private group, and could then request access to the group if it appealed to them. Another problem pertaining to the navigation of public and private annotations is that if you want to search for posts by specific authors or with specific tags within a group, you will need to enter these search terms within the sidebar on a specific document since Hypothesis does not currently allow you to do complex metadata searches natively. I've been writing all of my discussion notes as replies to the annotations I require my students to post for homework to our class group. In order to see a condensed list of all the possible topics for discussion, I would just do a user search for my own name within the document. I usually post these notes privately before class, so they don't preempt or limit the possibilities of live discussion. After class, however, I change the post settings so they become visible to the group, and students are individually notified of the replies I made to their comments, and can review all of them together using my user name tag. Eventually, it might be useful to automate this shift from private to public posting so that teachers wouldn't have to change these settings for each post individually. It might also be helpful to tag or star specific notes, and rearrange the sequence in which they appear in the sidebar so as to create a more direct itinerary through the mass of annotations, similar to the skip trails or guided tours that Vannevar Bush conceives when describing the memex in As We May Think. All in all, though, Hypothesis has proven to be one of the most powerful web-based annotation tools I've come across. Many of the tweaks and additional features I've been requesting can still be achieved with a little more effort and organization on the part of the user. If you feel that any of these features would be particularly useful to you and would like to see them in future versions of Hypothesis, you can voice your opinion on their forum and vote on their importance on their development pipeline.